In this very quick tutorial, I explain how to move an item from one board to another in monday.com automatically. I go over the setup and I demonstrate how it works in this video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up monday.com for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned in this very quick video, I'm gonna be explaining how to move an item from one board to another board. Now, as you can see, I've got a stage one and a stage two board and upon status being completed on stage one, what I would like to do is move this particular item to the stage two board where we can begin going through the stage two of whatever it may be. So it's super, super simple and this can be applied to anywhere inside of your monday.com system. I'm just hoping this example is useful to you guys. So what we need to do is go to the automate button up the top right hand corner here and then we want to go ahead and create a custom automation. You should have this option here. If you don't, just go to custom on the left hand side and press create custom automation. And firstly, what we want to do is select when this happens. So use the drop down menu and you can have a number of triggers in this particular instance. Uh, my trigger is going to be status. So when status and then we go ahead and select the status column is equal to done, then we need to create our action. So what we need to do is go to the then do this. And what I suggest is go to the more options and then you want to have a search. And what we are looking for is move item to board. OK, if you are unable to find it from scrolling through, just search at the top, move item to board and then go ahead and select this particular option. Now, firstly, we need to select the board that we're moving the item to. So if you select board, what we want to do is go ahead and select the stage two board in my demo workspace. As you can see, these are all of the workspace boards. So make sure you are on the demo workspace or selecting the demo workspace board or the board you'd like to be using anyway. So I'm going to select stage two. And then what this allows us to do when we select item is actually map the data. Now, this is really, really important so we don't lose any information. So go to the then move and select the item. And firstly, we can select the group that we would like to move the item to. So in this instance, I want to move it to the in progress um, group on the stage two board. So then we can just go ahead and mirror the columns. So name would mirror to name, person mirror to person, status mirror to status, date should mirror to project completion. So project completion, just be wary of the different names on the different boards. So the name of the column on stage one board is project completion. The name of the board on the stage two is date. So just be wary of that. It will automatically map as much as you can, but you can just press the plus button as well. And then the email will map to email as well. So once you're happy, just press the done button go ahead and press create automation and now what will happen is when i move this particular status to done what will then happen is this item will disappear from this particular board to stage one board and move over to the stage two board as you can see carrying all of the information from stage one over to stage two so hopefully this video was of value and i will see you in a moment's time Hopefully you are now familiar with moving an item from one board to another automatically. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.